In this video, I wanted to show you guys how to do a drop down menu in pure CSS that uh, slides down sort of like jQuery animation. Um, I mean, it's like the exact match, but it's going to show you how to do some cool stuff with CSS3 and you no know, jQuery um, necessary. Um, but I did want to also say at the beginning that this is only work on most modern browsers i.e. 10, uh, Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera, um, i.e. 9 and below will not work. Um, so this is definitely something that it's not good for all around, but it's pretty cool if you have the opportunity to do it and maybe you can do some other cool stuff with it. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is create my unordered list and create a simple menu. I'm going to stylize my menu real quick. And I want these two. And then what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to create a class for um, all the parent allies. And the reason why I'm creating a class is so that way I can apply to all of them, they can be as many times as I want, and then I can create individual IDs. Let me show this is coming up right. All right, so here are my is my drop down menu. Um, so just go real quick. The URLI list out none. We'll run the bullet list. This display online will make it be on a straight line. Add a background color, and then I want to have padding in between. And I did a shorthand version where the zero I mean for top and bottom zero, and then 15 pixels for left and right. Uh, so now I want to create my drop down within my about. Let's just create a couple. And I want to add a class to my URL so that way it doesn't interfere with the rest of my um, menu navigation. So this because we could do a position, I'm sorry, I could do a position relative up here in, um, in the parent class so that way this does go out of scope of our navigation. Background little. See if this shows up good. Oh, duh. sorry about that. Uh, it's because I didn't apply the class. All right, there we go. So now we have our. Um, Drop down here, so um, obviously this will be under here. So now what we want to do now is we want to actually create it to be more of a drop down. But before that, we need to um, add specific styles to the CSS that I'm actually going to over paste it in. Sorry about that. All right, well, that was embarrassing. Um, <laughs> so what's um, going on here is 
um, this is for all uh, specific browsers. So WebKits, that's for Safari and Google. Uh, this is for Mozilla, this is Firefox. This is for Microsoft and this is for Opera and this is the standard one. As of right now, this will work for all except for Safari and that's where you need WebKits. And then on older Google Chrome's WebKit is necessary. So um, it's usually a good idea to maybe have all of them. And then this is what's called transition, transition property. And then right here is what the CSS is going to be. So this one I'm going to say all um, for what I'm doing. You can do width, you can do heights, you can do different stuff. But I want your all to create more of the effect I want. Uh, what's the duration right now? This is going for a quarter of a second. And then what do I want the animation to be? And this is ease, but this is default. So I actually don't need this on here. And then I want this to be, I'll put this in Z index of one, and then visibility hidden, opacity zero. So what I see here, here um, Z index goes into, um, within your HTML documents, you, get, you have different layers, and Z index is how you want to stack them. Um, that's against the way of, like, so if you want to have, there's different kinds of versions over it, but basically the way it works is, it works by zero will be the lowest number, and then one, and so on and so forth. Um, but something you want to test with. But anyways, uh, let's get past that one. Visibility hidden. Uh, this is this isn't display none. Uh, what visibility hidden will do is this will still be there, but it's not going to be showing up. So basically, the height and width of this is not going to disappear. Uh, just the content within it, display none, totally makes it disappear. No height, no width is applied from the original uh, class ID, and then opacity zero. Um, again, this also makes it hidden, but this is for the effect of it sliding down and coming to view. So now what we want to do is we want to listen for when we hover over our parent class, and then we trigger the drop down, and then we want to make our Capacity one, and then we want to move our top, which I don't have it defined. <laughs> this one, so I'm gonna make this top 17 pixels. And what top is for us because this is the position of uh, absolute, you, um, you could apply a top, so basically it moves it up and down depending on where you put the numbers. You put it close to zero, that's gonna move it uh, up, and then you put it towards a thousand, um, a hundred, that's gonna push it down. And then, so now we're gonna make our top to be about 25 pixel. And we're gonna see how well this works. Oh, sorry. And then visibility visible. All right, there we go. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so basically, what I was missing was the visibility visible. So now, as you can see, this slides up and down. Um, you did notice there was a little, a little jumpy when you jump around. Uh, part of the reason is because of this top at twenty five. We make it twenty. And then save it. And that's a little bit better. I mean, there's a little space. I mean, you can obviously play up the style to get how you want. Um, but this is basically how you create a animated CSS3 drop-down menu with no jQuery involved. Um, obviously, for cross-browser platform, you probably want to use jQuery. Um, but just for experimental purposes, because obviously one day this will be standard. And just to change something real quick, let's watch it do it two seconds, because that seems to be more of a uh, smooth animation because of how close it, the top is uh, together. 
And that's that's a little slow. Maybe a little too slow. Oops, sorry about that. So maybe, yeah, two seconds is, let's do, yeah, let's go out to, let's say, half of that. So even 50 is a little slow, but again, I mean, there's, there's, um, this is how you can play with it uh, as you do different things with it. And then something I want, one of the last things I want to show you is this is where I was getting a majority idea from uh, different ideas of how to do CSS transactions. Um, Duffy, like that one, that's really smooth and cool. And um, so there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. And uh, where, where this is, is W3 scrolls. If you just do a search for CSS3, um, transactions it should be the first one but this stuff that helps break it down and show you do a lot more stuff than this drop down menu uh, but it's definitely a starting point and then you definitely play with it and make it a lot more pretty and a lot more smooth than I did um, but anyways thank you for watching um, and I said next video maybe CSS maybe jQuery it just really depends on what hopefully I think is more relative to what you guys are interested in learning uh, thank you for watching. Leave me comments, votes, rates, and thank you.